In just seven days, I can make you a man. What? No, that's not. That's incorrect. Wrong movie? That's the wrong movie. Uh, yeah. Oops. Uh, what's going on, guys? We are the Cine Fanatics. My name is Chris Adams. And I'm Robert Adams. And we are... Back from L.A. Yay! Oh, yes. I, I mean, oh. After a week-long excursion in L.A., we are back to do some trailer reactions. A uh, bunch of them. What were we in L.A. for, you might ask? I'm glad you did. Do you like movie trivia? We were in L.A. for the Movie Trivia Schmodown. It is a great place. It is a great channel to enjoy movie trivia. You can play along. It's here on YouTube. Go over to the Schmodown Entertainment Network. Enjoy that. Play along. Test your friends. It's awesome time. We went to a live showing in L.A. and... We're glad to be back. The best. I loved it. Yeah. Anyways, while we were in L.A., apparently the good folks over in Hollywood decided to drop a bunch of Which trailers. We were right next door, too, so we could have just knocked on the door and told them, hey, cut that out. Yeah, stop we're it. We're busy. We're busy. Stop it. But I'm pretty sure they didn't, they're didn't. they not going to hold up just for us. Nope. Uh, so one of the major trailers that dropped while we were gone was Mulan. Uh, now, here's the thing. Full disclosure. While we were on our way to L.A. was when this trailer dropped. We did happen to see this like on a little phone while we were waiting for something during our trip. Yep. The problem is, is we just saw like the like little screen, not enough to really take it in and like formulate any real ideas. Just like, oh, there's a movie. Yeah, saw it, heard it. But the thing is, is that we actually want to go back and watch it right now. Kind of give you our thoughts on it. So this isn't like a complete real trailer reaction where. Reacting to a trailer that we've already caught a glimpse of. so We've already seen it. We've already seen it. But here's where we're actually going to be able to focus in on it and really formulate what our thoughts and feelings for this trailer are. And we're going to get impart those to you right now. So, let me see. This is, what, another live-action Disney movie Which, in a long list of live-action Disney movies? They've been kind of hit or miss. Yeah. Uh, there's a... There's, honestly, I could probably count about three of them that I really liked and about the rest I was like, eh, okay. Yeah, so let's jump into this to see what we think of this trailer. Yeah. Again. Do you know why the phoenix sits on the right hand of the emperor? She is his guardian, his protector. That she's both beautiful and strong. Your job is to bring honor to the family. Do you think you can do that? Citizens, we are under attack from northern invaders. Their leader calls himself Ori Khan. He fights alongside a witch. No survivors. By edict of his imperial majesty, Every family must contribute one man to fight. Have you no son? I am blessed with two daughters. I will fight. Hmm. We must be strong. This time we will not return. Loyal. Brave and true. It is my duty to protect my family. <laughs> Ancestors, please protect her. What is your name, soldier? Hua Jun, Commander, son of Hua Zhou. We're going to make men out of every single one of you. Ha. Nice play on that. Close again! The spirit is evident. But something holds you back. When they find out who you are, they will show you no mercy. I'm Hua Mulan. I will bring honor to us all. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so that looks good. Yeah, that looks great, actually. 
This looks like it's going to be like in the vein of some of these live action movies. You've had the ones that have been almost like a shot for shot remake, yeah. uh, like Lion King and Aladdin uh, over this past year, uh, with maybe like a little, like a couple of added scenes to it. A couple things are changed up a little bit. This looks like this is going to be like in the vein of like Cinderella and Jungle Book, where it's essentially the same story that you know. But they're just changing the way it gets told. The kind of the tone of it and w what they do with some of the characters and plot lines and whatnot. Yeah, so for this movie, it looks like uh, Completely Gone are going to be the musical numbers. Yeah. Uh, and also Gone is Mushu, the wisecracking dragon voiced by Eddie Murphy. Which, to be fair... Donkey! <laughs> yeah. Sort of. <laughs> dragon! Um, anyway, to be fair, this uh, the tone of this movie... Those things wouldn't quite fit with the vibes that they're going for. Mm -hmm. uh, Mushu is a little too cartoonish, yeah. which is, you know, it was a cartoon, so that makes sense. Musical numbers, they're not going to quite fit with the very warrior vibe, that the very serious warrior tone that this movie is going for in its live action uh, form. So, you know, yeah, those things aren't going to be there. Now, what I do like is that they're taking these songs in the soundtrack and they're just they're they're making the score out of them not necessarily not necessarily presenting them as full-fledged musical numbers in the movie but overlaying the score of the movie with those numbers uh for instance you're getting a little piece of the songs in the trailer there and i also like kind of like the nods to some of the songs with like how they say we're gonna make a man out of you uh, or men out of you so yeah. i mean there's there's a lot of good nods here where I think I think it's going to flow and work very nicely with the just the tone of the movie. Yeah, um, and then it also looks like one of the other things they changed was like the villains. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got uh, what looks like uh, the, the woman with the nails, like Lady Deathstrike from X Two X Men United. Oh, um, yeah, I know. We need to do some. Uh, Manicuring since we're back from LA, but anyways, uh, you've got her as an opponent, which seemingly she finds out, I guess, that Mulan is actually a woman. So that's interesting. Uh, you also don't have uh, Sean Yu, who was the the villain in the cartoon. Yeah, uh, they've changed him. I don't know what his name is, but I mentioned it. Yeah. Uh, so it's like Boomhauer or something. <laughs> Boomhauer. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. That dang thing over here. Dang. Oh, that, that, yeah. Where's that fancy um, one right there? So you, you've got, essentially they're fighting and they still have to call someone like a male from each family. Yeah. So that storyline's still intact. She still poses as a, a male representative of her family. Mm -hmm. uh, but she's fighting in place of her father. All that is the same. It's just all the other circumstances are completely different. Now, yeah. in the original, the grand, like the grandparents blessed her with Mushu as the supposed guardian. Yeah. Uh, this one kind of looks like they, they're they going like a phoenix. Yeah, they're going by route of the, of the phoenix, like how I explained it to the trailer, the phoenix sitting at the right hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you see it flying around the trailer, which is which is interesting because it really calls into question like how many like of those kinds of supernatural elements would be present in this story if they're going to go by that more realistic tone. But with that phoenix flying around... That kind of gives you a little bit of your answer right there. Yeah. So, um, as far as like the live action Disney movies, this definitely looks like this is a a step in the right direction. In the same vein of like I said, Cinderella, Jungle Book, yeah. which both of which were uh, critically well liked, and some of the highest critically rated movies out of all the live action Disney movies, which is good because I'm not 100 percent a huge fan of the live action Disney's that we've gotten this year. Uh, I know your opinion. Differs on that a little. I enjoyed Aladdin. Lion King was okay. Yeah. I mean, just... So, this movie looks good. Eager to see more of it. I mm -hmm. don't know if we're going to get another trailer. It comes out in March, so we'll probably get another trailer for this, uh, more yeah, than likely. At least one more. Uh, but, yeah, that's going to be our thoughts and feelings on this. What did you think of this trailer? What did you think of this trailer reaction that we've already seen? Let us know down in the comments. Also, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the Cinefanatics. Follow us on social media. We are at Cinefanatics MLP on Twitter, on Instagram. Check out our Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash Cinefanatics. 
And also make sure you follow us here on YouTube. We will be live streaming our thoughts about the Schmodown, like I was just talking about at the top of this video. We will be talking about the Schmodown on Tuesday, December 17th at 9.30 p.m. Central Time. We're talking about the big event that happened at the end of the year that we just came back from the spectacular. It's huge. Uh, it was awesome. It's a great way to actually get into the Schmodown if you wanted to do that whenever it drops on YouTube. Yeah, so go over to the Schmodown Entertainment Network, check out a couple episodes, and then come back and check out our reaction and our live stream where we talk about it. Yeah. Also, make sure you subscribe to us. You can subscribe by hitting the subscribe button down below or the subscribe button up above his head up there over here off to the side or a couple other videos that we have made. And as always, upon reflection, I believe this video is going to make a man out of me. Ha! It's about time something does. Later. See ya. Oh, that was mean. Is that a little bit of a stretch with trying to use those song titles there? Oh, well. Not at all.